This LOS is describe industry life cycle models, classify an industry as to life cycle stage, and describe limitations of the life cycle concept in forecasting industry performance. Industry life cycle. So here we have the industry life cycle, and uh, first thing to note is what's on the axis. So on the y-axis we have demand, and on the x-axis it's time, okay? So as uh, time goes on, you can see that we start in an embryonic stage where there's very low demand. It's going to grow to a mature um, where the demand is going to peak, and then it's going to decline. Um, so that's the industry life cycle. Now what's really important here is to, you pretty much have to memorize the, uh, each stage of the um, industry life cycle. So it starts with embryonic as number one. Number two is the growth stage. Number three is a shakeout. Number four is the mature stage. And number five is the decline stage. So that's step number one, however you want to memorize that. It might be, uh, you know, E-G-S-M-D, if you want to use something like that. But then the next uh, very important step, you need to look at these characteristics uh, in each stage because all the questions, many questions are based on most likely, least likely, what stage based on these characteristics, okay? So embryonic is slow growth. There's high prices, significant investment, and high risk. Some of it's common sense. An industry is just starting, so it's high risk. There might be failure, significant investment to get up and running. High prices because it might be a new item. Uh, and slow growth because it's just starting. When we get into the growth, we're going to have rapidly increasing demand, improving profitability, falling prices, and low competition. There's not a lot of competition yet. When we get into the shakeout, growth is slowing. There's intense competition. That's why it's shakeout. That makes sense. And profitability is declining, which again is kind of common sense. When you've got intense competition, you're going to have declining profitabilities, you're probably going to have pressure on prices as well. When we get into the mature stage, we have little or no growth, industry consolidation, and high barriers to entry, okay? And in the finally, in the declining stage, negative growth, so growth is negative, that's important to understand, excess capacity, because capacity is built, uh, you know, as the industry grew, now you're in the declining stage, what would excess capacity mean? Probably prices are declining as well. And there's high competition because the uh, competitors that are remaining have excess capacity competing on price, high competition. Okay? So that's the industry life cycle. Step number one, memorize the phases. Embryonic, growth, shakeout, mature, decline. Step number two, uh, understand the characteristics for each stage. And we'll do a series of uh, practice questions so you can see exactly that uh, it's testing on this type of memorization. Which of the following life cycle phases is typically characterized by high prices? A, mature, B, growth, or C, embryonic? C is correct. The embryonic stage is characterized by slow growth and high prices. So you can see I cut and paste from the uh, industry life cycle chart and I circled, uh, put a, a green box around the high prices. Now remember, embryonic, that kind of makes sense. Uh, you think of iPhones when they first came out, just very, very high price. The smartphones were very highly priced when the, uh, when the first smartphones came out. Another practice question. In industry experiencing intense competition rivalry among incumbent companies is best characterized by A, differentiated products and low exit barriers, B, a small number of competitors and low fixed costs, or C, customers basing purchase decisions largely on price. Okay, I put that question in here because most of the questions we're going to do are going to be with regards to the characteristics of the industry life cycle, where on the y-axis we have demand and on the x-axis we have time, okay? So this is uh, fall, still falls into the industry life cycle type of questions, though. So an industry experiencing intense competitive rivalry among incumbent companies is best characterized by C. Customers basing purchase decisions largely on price. So the factor that most influences customer purchase decisions is likely to also be the focus of competitive rivalry in the industry. In general, industries where price is a large factor in customer purchase decisions tend to be more competitive 
than industries in which customers value other attributes more highly. Back to a question with regards to the different phases of the industry life cycle. An industry experiencing slow growth, high prices, and volumes insufficient to achieve economies of scale is most likely in the A, mature stage, B, shakeout stage, or C, embryonic stage. Okay, it was another question with regards to the embryonic stage. So you saw the high prices there and slow, go, slow growth. That should probably give it away for you. So again, I cut and paste from the industry life cycle chart, the embryonic stage. You can see slow growth, high prices, significant investment, and high risk. Okay, so the correct answer is C, an embryonic industry is one that is just beginning to develop and is characterized by slow growth, high prices, volumes not yet sufficient to achieve meaningful economies of scale, developing distribution channels, and low brand loyalty as there is low customer awareness of the industry's product. Another question with regards to the different phases of the life cycle. According to the industry life cycle model, an industry in the shakeout stage is best characterized as experiencing A, slowing growth and intense competition, B, little or no growth and industry consolidation, C, relatively high barriers to entry, in periodic price wars. Okay, you can see these questions are pretty easy if you've done a good job mem uh, memorizing the different stages and the characteristics because in this one it says according to the industry life cycle model, industry in the shakeout stage uh, best characterizes experiencing slow growth and intense competition. There it is, slowing growth, intense competition. So A is correct. Little or no growth? No. Relatively high barriers to entry in periodic price wars? No. So A is correct. The shakeout stage is usually characterized by slowing growth, intense competition, and declining profitability. During the shakeout stage, demand approaches market saturation levels because few new customers are left to enter the market. Competition is intense as growth becomes increasingly dependent on market share gains. And the last part to this LOS is the limitations of the industry life cycle analysis. And this is the last slide for this LOS as well. Although models uh, can provide a useful framework for thinking about an industry, the evolution of an industry does not always follow a predictable pattern. There's technological changes, regulatory changes, social changes, and demographics. Now, being a Canadian, I always like to put out the example of, think of research in motion and the Blackberry, okay? Very uh, quick rise to fame and a very steep decline. And uh, that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.